Today we're testing the Kawasaki Ultra 300X, the flagship model in the Kawasaki lineup. I knew a little bit about the ski before we came out today. Its performance, its power, its ocean going abilities, and really, its fun factor. Kawasaki's new flagship, the Ultra 300X, pushes the performance envelope even further with increased boost from a new Eaton Twin Vortices supercharger, the big Kawasaki Ninja-inspired marine engine pumps out 300 horsepower through an all-new pump for incredible hookup and acceleration. Not only is the new Ultra 300X high-powered, but it's also high-tech. Riders can adjust the hull attitude with the new electric trim system. There's an electronic throttle valve with electronic cruise control, fuel-saving eco mode, and a new all-digital instrument panel. The 1.5 litre engine in the Kawasaki is tried and tested. It's supercharged, intercooled, and now is putting out 300 horsepower. What a weapon. The new throttle response system is great. It's responsive, controlled, and it actually increases the throttle when you back off and go through a turn. Fantastic safety feature. With the new throttle system comes an eco mode. So if you need to go that extra distance without responsive power, switch it into eco. Great option to have. New to this Kawasaki is the new trim system. As you've seen in our other tips, it's fantastic to have, and this ski now has the electronic trim system, so you'll find that an added bonus. It also has the cruise control, which is really good for towing people. with all our supercharged skis, they do use the fuel. And a fantastic innovation on this one is a 78 litre fuel tank to make sure you make those long trips. The new handlebar layout comes with an adjustment so you can set the handlebar height. That is great. And of course, the new LCD screen. We're out in the sun all the time, so easy to read, really important. And that dash comes with those added features like distance to empty, water temperature, clock, and a few other features. And of course, you get the two keys. One for the learner mode and one for the experienced rider. Use it with care. Having ridden the previous model before, I know the hull's good in the ocean. Today we're out in the lake, it's pretty flat, so we're doing some dynamic stuff. But that hull, it is a really good ocean hull. Big turns, it's responsive, direction, stable, Fantastic. I like the responsive power. It really accelerates from nothing to flat out crisp as, and it's really good. Look, I thought this ski was great value for money. It's well priced, good power, it's got a good sized fuel tank, and the storage, loads of storage. I found its response to acceleration and turning to be its best assets. And why I like the acceleration is it really responds to what I want it to do. There's no lag, it doesn't really stall, it just goes. And that's what I really like. One thing I found that was a little bit annoying to me was the reverse handle. It's right near the handlebars and you sometimes knock it when you go from reverse to forward. It's not the end of the ski because of that, it's just a niggly thing that I found annoying, but it's been like that on Kawasaki's for a long time, so if you're used to Kawasaki's, it's no different. I'd recommend this to any friend. It's a good value ski, it's got a lot of fantastic features, it's really stable, and that's what I like in a ski, because when we go out on our adventure ride, we're in the ocean, and we need that stuff. Power was strong, it's got that fantastic wine from that Roop supercharger, and that sounds great. It's worth it just on its own.